Here we have analyzed the techniques and the bacterial gel with the objective of quick, simple, and easy distribution of essential hand sanitizer. Not only does it expand the gel, it uses it constantly, allowing it to always be full and not require frequent refilling and servicing. We can distribute, manufacture, and easily provide access to these extremely useful machines. We have a small team of university students from the UTD, and this is our integrative project that we have developed in order to help combat the COVID-19 pandemic. We have spent a lot of time on making our product as flawless as can be. It is made out of these co components to actively make the gel. So I'm going to talk about the gel maker machine structure. Here, as you can see, this is a final view of the machine. Uh, the machine has a simple design uh, in order to ease the his use to everyone. So with this says, now we can say that this machine could be used anywhere. For example, we can use it in schools, restaurants, uh, public places, even in offices. And the attractiveness of the machine is to create your own antibacterial gel. Well, but also, this is a customizable machine. Why a customizable machine? Because we can change the measures depending your necessities of antibacterial gel. For example, this is a low production machine. We can create three, three layers per fill, but the dimension of the machine are measures in order to last at least two days. So here are the measures of the base, 65 times 60 times 120 centimeters. So this is the exterior box, which has the function to protect the inside of the machine the heart of the machine. So this is going to be made with aluminum and also has side barriers in order to avoid the overheating. And it, it is also going to be with aluminum. Well, in this exterior box, the extraction of gel, antibacterial, antibacterial gel is going to be made. So this is the heart of the machine. Let's see if we can say that. So the size of this is 30 times 30 times 25 centimeters. The box is going to be made of aluminum and the top is going to be made with stainless steel. This is where the dispensers are going to be. Uh, and basically this is where the antibacterial gel is made. So here are the dispensers. At least there are going to be five different dispensers each one with different material and with different sizes. Uh, this is due to the proportion that the antibacterial gel needs. The five materials are, are glycerin, ethyl alcohol, steel water, carbomer, and tetalonamine. The dispensers is going to be made with stainless steel due to the proper properties that stainless steel has. Uh, if we choose aluminum, the properties in contact with alcohol are going to be corrosive so the best option here is stainless steel and the capsule is going to be made with plastic so when you want to move the liquids an electro bulb is going to be activated and it's going to be moved to the hopper the hopper is going to be made with stainless steel due to the same reason, to the pro properties that stainless steel has. So here is going to land all the liquids and then it's going to be mixed up. Uh, the antibacterial gel will be created and then you can use the antibacterial gel. With the design, we stuck to the cuts and the welds. To make the necessary cuts for the base and the container box, we are going to use a milling machine and then weld the pieces together. Using SolidWorx, we program the mill to start machining the pieces. Here we can quickly see the machine code instructing the CNC. We are using a drill cut. Next, I'm going to talk about the process of welding. As we said before, the stainless steel is used mainly for its corrosion resistance, strength and toughness compared with aluminum or other materials that can be similar. In this case, we choose the stainless steel 304, and due to the characteristics of this stainless steel, the heat arc does not distribute as easily like other materials, like for example steel or aluminum. This is the main reason and it's important to choose the right welding process.
This led us to choose the small process. Why? Because we have more experience with this process. We are familiar with it. And we have more control over the welding. The recommendable electrode to use is the 308L. This electrode is especially used for chemical equipment and for ponds containing chemical corrosive. So basically this is the perfect option to contain the materials that are necessary to create the antibacterial gel without corrosiveness. This is the chart of the electrode and as we can see the minimum approach goes from 60 and the maximum goes to 90. So basically we can work with an average amperage of 80 without problems to all the weldings. Like for example, this is made with stainless steel and we can see different joints like for example corner joint, edge joint and T joint. And due to the shape of the machine, both parts, the exterior box and the machine itself has the same joints but the difference is that the materials are made with steel. We can see that we have corner joint, edge joint and butt joint. For this welding, we use the electrode E7018. With this electrode, we, we can have a smooth and stable weld arc and a clean weld. This electrode has good penetration in any direction, so basically it's perfect to the base of for everything. And we can see that it has a minimum amperage of 70 and a max of 120. So uh, as I said before, we can work with an average amperage of 80. After welding, we are filling multiple screws of different sizes and types, including half inches, quarter of inches, and a hinge to open the cover. To finish, we'll paint part of it and polish it to look aesthetically pleasing. The calculations were made based on the critical points, so to speak. Um, since our machine has almost zero probabilities uh, of suffering damages of failures, talking about of the frame and also the mechanical movement. Um, so we calculate the stress at the, at the points where the weight will fall, as the diagram shows. And also, the shitty stress was calculated at the point where it will be supported with two toads uh, as support for the weight and to obtain a stronger and more solid base um, it's, it's important to say that we consider that the calculation of the data is almost unnecessary since due to the material with which the machine will be made it doesn't suppose any problem for the low weight it will support and for the walls of the mixer when, when it is mixing the, the gel. So at the end, please take that into account because it doesn't suppose any risk for the machine um, talking about of the use, transporting and storing it. The system is controlled by an Arduino Uno. This due to the low price, the availability and the number of ports that this has. The Arduino Uno contains all the programs that we are using for the motors and the actuators that the system has. So the system has, has different sensors as a PDR sensor to control the amount of hand sanitizer that this is dispensed and a personal sensor that is used to control the amount of raw materials that are used for the mix for the hand sanitizer. As an actuator, we have a servo motor that is used as a dispenser for the lowest quantity of one of the five materials that are used on the mixture in the company. The motor has an operation gap voltage of 4.826 voltage and a 12 volt motor that is used to mix all the materials uh, the system used for electro volts. This for electro volts has a uh, use of voltage of 12 volts and we use it to dispense all the before raw materials that they use that we need to mix to make hand sanitizer. The electric system is consists on all the components that I already mentioned and for relays that are used to control 
or to bond, and the former that converts 120 volts of alternative carbon to 12 volts of direct carbon to energize or Arduino and, and the electric bulb. On the project, we will use a cable caliber 14 because this cable can take more than 15 amperes that we will use to supply all of the mechanisms. And also, we, this cable has a margin of safety that can reach up to 18.5 amperes, which is more than enough for our integrative project. And we are also going to use a 120 volts standard electricity alternative current to supply the previously mentioned power supply. And finally, with the Arduino and connections with the electro bulbs and servo motors, we will use simple jumpers, but with a cover around them of nylon to prevent the filtration of humidity that can cause a malfunction of this one. And now we know all of the cables, how we will manage them. Okay, well, we as a team, we prevent ourselves with time by making sure that in the design of the project, the case had enough space to place the cable organizers around the case inside it, in order to have an organized and nice wiring, and they will place all around, all around the case, as I show in the video. And these cables, we're going to use this cable manager that we found, and they are perfect for caliber 14 and also for jumpers. Uh, features that we use and um, give, uh, give orders to open or close the electro bulb to the relay and in the signals or the different sensors that we use. And also, you control the two motors that uh, I use it. Now, the amount of power consumption that my product has is a total of 3, 2, 2, 3, or 34 in hour per month. And it consists of an amount of use of 3 solenoid bulbs that add on the containers. And one solenoid that I uh, that I use in the dispenser, one motor that I use for the mix. Also, the machine will come with an emergency stop button that will stop all the function and dispenser of the sanitizer. Step number one: the necessary materials for the elaboration of gel are poured into each of their corresponding deposits. Step number two. Once the regen tank has been filed, you can start pouring the necessary amount of each material. Step number three. The materials in this moment are already into the mixing container. Quantity of each material necessary to make 3.2 liters of gel. Step number four. The bellbells and servers drop the necessary material for the gel, close and then the motor start the mixing the mixture reaching in a speed of 50 revolutions per minute achieving achieve achieving on a optimum speed to mixing the materials and homogenize the mixture step step number five the time of five minutes after that time the mixing stop and the gel will be in an optimum state to be dispensed for the public step number six after the five minutes of, mix, of mixing, there will be a time of 30 seconds to stop completely. Once started, the gel, uh, the gel dispenser bubbles uh, can be activated and used by the public. Final step number seven. The same process is repeated around five times per day using an approximate by means of an ultrasonic sensor which will indicate when the mixing container uh, needs to be parted again to make more gel and the process is repeated or restarted. And next is Ivan detailing the sales. 
Okay, let's start first with the cast and budget. Right here we can see all the cast and budget for this product and the names of the products and the units that we will need with the exact price and the amount of this that is not too cheap because uh, 4538 is not too cheap but also is not too expensive for this project also we can see here all the elements that this integrity project will have like the base that is too strong to support more than 20 kilograms this type of fans that will take care uh, to the product to doesn't heat up and start brown and also the container where will be all of the products previously mentioned. As a team, we expect to sell this project to a price of uh, 12,000 Mexican pesos, the normal edition, uh, for the efficiency and the co and complexity that this project has. Also, a machine like this can be distributed for all around the world for practical purpose but to be easy to get this project it has been considered since the beginning of the machine the first step is to sell this project for all around the country because the elaboration of the machine is not very complex and uh, with a quick production uh, for beneficial option for the client the social focus of this project this project is designed so that people with limited resources uh, have access to the product for society well in other words it, this project will be able to all economic areas the antibacterial health will be obtained manually so this will provide the opportunity to reuse the containers that fill the machine which also uh, will reduce the cost for society in general well, this project also can generate different jobs like transporters, distributors of raw material, welders, circuit managers, designers and also assemblers. Currently, our product can guarantee the satisfaction of the customers when entering a business or walking on public roads, feeling the protection and having active bacterial health available due to the current situation of the virus and without having to contact any other person and this in short terms can be profit because only with the indicated materials when the product is finished which with only one recharge least one month approximately with the respect to the user's specifications you can generate profits since there will be no need to buy already made the antibacterial help this product is not intended to be something fixed, but can be customized for the client taste when it comes to changing the proportions for people who use the health maker. This product uh, is made for all audience, um, but also we have something that it is the scalability and risk. Well, some of the scalabilities will be like this product will be necessary due to the contingency and its effects of on the work environment as well as the social one. And also this product is very necessary at present and it will be in the future due to the current situation of the virus. And from the beginning, the investment of the raw materials can be a bit high, but having the raw material, you can generate more health and avoid unnecessary expenses and avoid the contamination with plastics. And finally, some of the risk can be poorly filled in order of the container. You will have a manual to do it. So you, you will have to read the manual and follow the steps. And also another risk can be the negligent maintenance of the machine. So one of these can be don't do it monthly, the maintenance, and this can generate the malfunction and get stuck of the health. 